I'm back at the grocery store. I'm here to share with you 12 more things that I've quit buying and why. And here's another quick disclaimer that this video is not meant to food shame anyone. If you buy any of these items that I no longer buy, that is completely fine. These are just small changes or substitutions that I've made in my grocery buying habits over the last 10 or so years that I feel good about and I wanted to share with you today. All right, let's go inside. The first thing I no longer buy at the grocery store usually is pre-made salad dressing. A lot of salad dressings that you can buy just bottled on the shelf have some suspicious ingredients, some have corn syrup like this one. And I prefer to just make a really quick vinaigrette like my favorite baker and olive vinegar or some olive oil, or it's really easy to make a really easy ranch dressing at home. It's just like buttermilk with some sour cream and mayo and some seasonings you probably already have. This recipe is my absolute favorite. It's for my amazing Cobb salad with an herby ranch dressing. You have to check this one out on my website. But if I am going to buy bottled salad dressing, I usually go for Brianna's. This brand is really good and it usually has better ingredients. And this poppy seed one is amazing. I love it. If I can help it, the next thing I don't usually buy at the grocery store anymore is pre-cut fruit. If you ever have an assignment to bring a fruit platter or fruit tray to an event or gathering, it can be tempting to buy these pre-cut bowls of fruit. However, I almost never buy them anymore because I never find the quality to be very good. I think that at local grocery stores, these fruit trays are either made with produce that is either too ripe or or not ripe enough, stuff that they can no longer sell, so they're like chopping it up in the back and putting it in these trays, or they just like aren't ripe. They're not tasting the fruit to make sure that it tastes good before they put it in the tray. It always just tastes like super bland, not very sweet, and I just don't waste my money on that anymore. I feel like especially with apples, apples are treated with some kind of a solution to make sure that they don't brown and oxidize, and I feel like that makes them taste very, very bitter. For that reason, I don't usually get apple slices in like kids meals at fast food restaurants for my kids just because they taste so bitter they're not gonna eat them anyway instead it's really easy to just buy a couple easy fruits that you don't even have to prepare if you're assigned to bring a fruit tray berries are always a good idea apples are really easy to chop up oranges or um, I only know the Japanese word what is what are those called um, little mandarin oranges the Cuties, those are really easy to just stick on a tray so you don't have to really prepare anything if you don't want to cut up, you know, a melon or a pineapple. I usually never buy white bread. White bread is kind of a luxury at our house. The only time we really have it is when I make it homemade, when I make homemade bread, homemade sourdough bread, or I get like Rhodes rolls for, you know, a special dinner or something, but I don't usually buy just white sandwich bread. The reason is because if I did buy it, our family would just eat loaves and loaves of white bread and that's usually just straight sugar like it's just a lot of chemicals it's a lot of ingredients that I don't feel like our bodies need when we have so many other treats and good things that we like to eat I don't want to kind of waste those carbs and those chemicals on white bread so I almost always buy whole wheat bread and it usually has a lot cleaner ingredients and it's a little bit better for our bodies just a really quick simple sub to have a little bit of a healthier lifestyle I might get some flack for this one but one thing I do don't buy any more are fruit snack. Now, I know how delicious they are, especially these like little fruity ones. The strawberry ones are so good. These ones are like my favorite fruit snacks. However, I don't buy them because one, my kids love them. They're just gonna eat them like nonstop. And two, I feel like they get so many different kinds of treats and snacks and sugar from, you know, school and dance and all their other extracurricular activities. I don't feel like I need to buy them at home to have them have just like straight corn syrup because as delicious as fruit snacks are, they're literally Literally just like straight corn syrup, sugar, oil, and like artificial food coloring. So while they're good, I don't buy them anymore for my family. I feel really nostalgic when I think of eating canned soup. My mom would always buy canned clam chowder. That was like my total favorite. And I loved mixing it with rice or pasta. And I don't know, it's just like a comfort food for me. However, I don't really buy canned soup anymore because it has a lot of sodium in it. There's a lot of ingredients 
ingredients that are a little bit suspect because soup can be very nourishing, very healthy, and so delicious, and it's really easy and inexpensive to make at home. Canned soup just has a lot of ingredients in it that I'm not super comfortable with, and I think that a lot of these recipes can be made at home really quickly, so that's why I no longer buy canned soup. So I hope that one thing that you've noticed in almost all of these products that I no longer buy is that the option that I would probably go to or gravitate more towards is almost always right next to the traditional or go-to item. And the price is almost always very similar or comparable for a little bit of a cleaner ingredient list, maybe less ingredients. So just be a little bit more mindful next time you go to the grocery store, instead of just going straight for the thing that you normally get, look at the other options and just see if there are other options that might resonate with you a little bit more. Here's a little trivia fact about me is that there are not very many foods in this world that I don't eat. I love just about everything and I'll try everything like at least once. One of the foods I really can't eat, I can't do, is canned tuna. Unfortunately for me, my husband and my kids adore canned tuna. They eat it all the time and I end up buying it. So when I was pregnant, Brett would eat canned tuna like a couple times a week and I would have to go like in another room, stay away from the kitchen area for hours. And I just, I don't know, I just can't stand the smell of tuna, but it's a really inexpensive, fairly inexpensive way to have a lot of protein. And I do think it's pretty healthy. So I keep buying it for my family, but I don't buy tuna in oil. I think maybe there are probably some like flavor reasons why people might buy tuna in oil, but I always get tuna packed in water. It's just a really easy way to cut back on both calories, fat, and it just tastes a little bit cleaner, it has a better texture to me. So I only ever buy tuna in water. Also, has anyone else noticed that the price of tuna has gone up like 20%. I mean, everything's expensive, but these cans of tuna I used to buy were 69 cents and now they're like 89 cents. Ugh. Something I really haven't bought in years is jam, especially conventional jam you'll see here. This jam is literally just corn syrup and sugar and a little bit of fruit juice probably. And I don't really wanna spread corn syrup on my toast and on my sandwiches. Homemade freezer jam is really simple to make. You just buy a box of pectin and follow the directions on the back and it tastes amazing. Once you have homemade jam, it's really hard to go back. But if you do want to buy jam, I suggest getting this brand or looking at the ingredients on the different options at the grocery store. There are so many options, which is what's great about the stores, you can find pretty much anything for everyone. So try and find one that has like real sugar, no corn syrup, no colorings, nothing artificial. Anything else is just like filler or extra. And I recommend trying to find one that has the cleaner ingredients. One of Brett's favorite foods is vanilla bean ice cream with Hershey syrup. And then he like stirs it all together to make a little milkshake bowl. It's something he did as a kid. It's very juvenile, but it's one of his favorite things. However, one thing I don't usually buy anymore is Hershey syrup. Hershey syrup has, I mean, it's good, but it has a lot of corn syrup in it. It has a lot of ingredients and it's actually really simple to make your own Hershey syrup at home. All you have to do is combine some cocoa powder, some water, some sugar, some vanilla salt, and you just like stir it up on the stove and you can keep it in your fridge for a really long time. If you don't want to make your own Hershey syrup, I recommend going for this kind that has cleaner ingredients. It doesn't have any corn syrup in it and it's a little bit simpler. Whenever I am shopping, I always try and find products that have like the least amount of ingredients possible because I feel like that's just more real food. Unless I'm making salt dough ornaments, something I never buy anymore is regular salt. I think we're all familiar with this like iodized, just regular table salt, but I mean, I know you guys know I love Redmond Real Salt. It's almost always right next to the regular salt, but this salt actually has minerals. It's very healthy for you. It's not processed and it tastes so much better than just regular table salt. I'm, I'm hoping that by now you know like how important it is because we put salt in just about everything. And so if you just change one ingredient that has, you know, really good qualities, health benefits, and it tastes better, it will make 
all of your cooking better by substituting the one ingredient that goes in like pretty much everything. Something I stopped buying years ago is regular cucumbers. I know that sounds kind of weird, but there are regular cucumbers that are, you know, they're kind of like shorter, they're fatter, they're a little bit stubby, they have a dark kind of waxy skin. I don't buy those anymore because the insides, they have a lot of seeds, the skin is a little bit tougher. Instead, I now only buy English cucumbers. They're long and skinny. They're almost always wrapped in plastic and they're usually just like right next to the regular cucumbers. The reason is because these cucumbers taste so much better. They have a thinner skin that you can eat so you don't have to peel them. They're thinner so they don't have a ton of huge bitter seeds in the middle. They have a more mild flavor. They're crispier, they're crunchier, and they just taste way better. So I only buy English cucumbers now. I don't buy conventional cucumbers. They just like, I don't know, they just don't taste very good to me and they're so tough and bitter. I don't know. So I definitely recommend English cucumbers. I used to think that all tomato sauce, marinara sauce, spaghetti sauce, whatever you want to call it was the same, but I've become a little bit more choosy and a little bit more picky about this. So I no longer buy spaghetti sauce that has a lot of extra added sugar to it. A really good tomato sauce or spaghetti sauce only has a couple of very simple ingredients. It's tomatoes, some good olive oil. It doesn't even need garlic or onion necessarily, but it usually just has very simple clean ingredients. These spaghetti sauces have like sugar, fillers, a lot of preservatives. I don't really love that. So I try and find spaghetti sauce that has no added sugar and that has the smallest ingredient list possible. I find that these taste a lot better. They feel better going into my body knowing that there's not all this added extra stuff. So I no longer buy spaghetti sauce with added sugar. You can see these have tons of added sugar to them. We don't need more sugar. You're already gonna put it on a bed of pasta, which is like all carbs. The last thing I don't buy at the grocery store anymore is canned cranberry sauce. Now I think there's probably two camps of people, one who grew up with it, it's nostalgic for them, they absolutely love the flavor and the texture and I don't know, it's just very like nostalgic. And then people who only go homemade and I'm kind of a snob now, I only do homemade cranberry sauce and this video is actually coming out soon of how to make it really simple, really easy and it's so good. So anyway, I don't buy it anymore because this is literally a can of corn syrup. If you look at the ingredients for canned cranberry sauce, it's cranberries and corn syrup. <laughs> and like literally that's it. I just don't want to like put a slab of jellied corn syrup on my delicious Thanksgiving dinner that we worked so hard for. Instead, I love just a really simple homemade one. It's usually like very inexpensive and easy to make. It lasts forever. You can put it on tons of different things. So I definitely recommend making it if possible. If that's not possible, look for some can that has maybe just regular sugar, not as much corn syrup, maybe a reduced sugar one. That's my recommendation. All right, this is just like the tip of the iceberg. We haven't even gone into the refrigerated and freezer and dairy and all those other sections. Let me know which section of the grocery store you want me to go to next of the grocery items that I no longer buy and why. If you like this video, you have to make sure to watch the first video, which is right here. It's 12 grocery items I no longer buy at Walmart. Or if you've already watched that one, make sure you watch this one, which is 12 grocery items I no longer buy at Costco and why. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.